Hey, this is Doug. I'm, I'm back with this Bedini SSG. I finally got the, uh, the pulley system completed here for the capacitor discharge. Uh, that file, I'm going to be loading that up onto the Thingiverse site today. That link will be posted below. Um, just, uh, just a little bit about, about this when you're putting it together. Um, as far as the prints are concerned, I print it with uh, 1.2 millimeter walls and I'm printing at 0.8 millimeters for top and bottom layers. Um, as far as the standoffs here, I'm using the existing file with the standoffs I used for the large wheel below and I'm just using a, a razor plate blade to guillotine where I need need a mat uh, in between these smaller pulley wheels. Um, so you may have to connect a couple together in, in a couple of the spots uh, that are a little bit longer. Uh, but that works really well there. They're, they're pretty tight fit on that 8 millimeter rod so you shouldn't have any movement there I guess depending on your, your printer and your settings. Um, also pay attention to where your actual rubber band is riding. You'll have that, that little um, that little ridge or edge that's sticking up off the, the, the print uh, at 1 16th of an inch, you'll see where that's at. That's where the actual rubber band rides. That keeps that rubber band in place. Uh, obviously, you want to have uh, each of these, um, I call them, they almost look like phone cases. Uh, the, the, the Where the rods ride here, you need to get those as even as possible. You can do that just measuring, uh, taking a ruler and measuring each of the, the four sides of each of those. Um, as far as the, the actual capacitor discharge portion up here at the top, of course I got the one cam on that particular wheel that you'll, you'll, uh, you'll place on that wheel there. Um, I've got a simple apparatus here and I'll get a close up of that here momentarily. Um, but it's, it's really effective. Uh, of course you'll want to adjust that. You don't want to hit that with that cam so hard because you don't want to cause too much stress on your on your, your copper points up here to where they'll break over time. Uh, the way I have mine set up it, it'll probably last for years. Uh, very little movement there. Um, <clears throat> I, I already talked about the rods, the sizes you use on the description on Thingiverse. Uh, I will add that for the, the parts up here on the, on the actual contact point, uh, those are the 632 bolts so um, if you have to drill, you will have to drill a hole into the back of the cassette here to attach your copper piece. Uh, my copper pieces, by the way, they're, they're quarter inch uh, plumbing tubing. Uh, in order to get the holes in, uh, I actually uh, use my vice grip and I pressed those together and then I just drill, use my drill press to put the holes in there. Uh, it's pretty simple. So uh, that's everything there. Uh, my particular system here, you're going to have to match it uh, to whatever, you know, batteries or whatever circuit that you're using, uh, your capacitors and your wiring. Um, I've got two 200 volt, 820 microfarad capacitors in, in parallel. And um, of course, it's discharging here. You can see about every one second. Um, I don't have the discharge hooked up at the moment. I've just got the straight radiant hooked up. Um, but I'm going to show you that, you know, the discharge real quick before I I, uh, I do a close-up of the actual spark. Let me do an actual close-up of the spark, the uh, the contact point real quick, and then we can uh, then I'll show you my actual system. So you can see there, that's the the new part. And of course, like I said, you'll have to adjust the, the, the heights um, of everything so you can get a minimum amount of movement. I've tried this with both the straight copper and um, I've got a carbon brush up there as well. And I don't know if you can see from the camera view, but it's, um, it's, I'm hitting it pretty hard with the amount of current and voltage. I'm gonna have to back it off or um, I'm actually gonna, you see just uh, the wheel here with the, the one cam on it I'm probably gonna gonna put um, a one uh, a two and three cam 
option up there as well eventually um, so you can experiment with different things um, that's what I got uh, the wiring I just used some uh, audio wiring and it's uh, 16 gauge wire there which is maybe a little under what you should have for, for this particular application but it's it works we'll see you get a close-up of the whole device there so you can get an idea of where those rubber bands will be riding the rubber bands that I'm using um, I actually cut those a little bit the length um, they're pretty thick they're about half inch thick rubber bands five inches I believe and uh, they come from this packing company Uline so if you want those um, they, they're what I'm using uh, and uh, the width has to be cut just a little bit and I use a razor blade or utility knife for that to be able to get it you know to the the width that I need for the uh, the wheels here All right, I'm going to hook up the capacitor discharge and I'll let you see that. All I do is unhook the radio and it's already hooked up to the capacitors. I'm going to have to drop. I'm going to have to drop this a little bit, it's no contact. I believe that's got it. There it goes. As you can see there, that's a pretty good amount of current. You'll have to adjust that. That's it.